President Biden calls for a national gas tax holiday to try and ease prices at the pump. White House officials are set to meet with oil execs to try and find a solution to lowering surging gas prices. Meanwhile, as inflation continues to rise, 229,000 Americans filing for unemployment last week. That's according to the Labor Department. That's about 2,000 less compared to the previous week. Data showing a resilient job market in the face of rising inflation and interest rates. ABC News business correspondent Deidre Bolton joining me once again for more on this. A daily conversation we must have, Deidre. So yes. what do these new numbers tell us about the labor market considering fears of surging inflation still? Kira, if we look at today's data set, it confirms what economists call a tight labor market, meaning that those who want to have a job can have a job. The statistic that more and more analysts are focusing on, though, is the four-week moving claims, which actually are at this highest level since the beginning of this year. So some see that as signs of cooling in the labor market. Others say, well, there are seasonal factors involved, but it is certainly a statistic worth watching as more and more companies are thought to consider at least freezing hiring. So that's going to be something going forward, Kira, that many economists and analysts will be focused on. Okay, so the White House, as we mentioned, uh, officials there will be meeting with top oil company execs. What's likely to come out of this meeting? Both sides, or at least I can say from the point of view of industry, big oil industry, a less antagonistic tone is what they're hoping for. We're really looking for short-term solutions here and then longer-term solutions. And so the short-term solution, obviously, is that the Biden administration has an economic issue and therefore a political issue with people paying near $5 per gallon. Of course, that is a huge, huge burden for American workers, for American citizens. Bigger picture, longer term, Kira, there, there's this real issue with a lack of investment as big oil sees it. I mean, no new refineries have built, been built in the U.S. in the last 50 years. And so the industry, if you like, feels a lack of support. We heard President Biden kind of quip saying, oh, I didn't know that they would get their feelings hurt that easily. But what we're trying to see is this handoff between legacy energy sources and then green ones that we are mostly moving towards as more and more Americans purchase electric vehicles and the like. But in the meantime, gas prices remain high and the refinery businesses have really been hurt, Kira. So let's follow up with that because the CEO of Chevron wrote this letter to President Biden claiming the oil industry has been vilified, right? Asking him to change his, his, his approach. In response, Biden, you know, quipped that he was being a little thin skinned, but thought they could eventually work things out. Could this make things difficult for the meetings today, for the future of what ultimately the president wants? Because the relationship is clearly important but is it gonna get the job done? It, it is really important. I mean, this conversation, we can't underline how significant it is because obviously we need energy. We need energy uh, to power our world. And I think while most people want to go green, there also has to be a few steps in between. From the point of view of big oil, I think their concerns are, why should we invest in building tons and tons of refineries if that's not the direction that the U.S. wants to go in for its energy future? But Kira, we can't understate the significance. We're all talking about $5 of gas for us. Diesel, so that's, by the way, a 60% increase. If we compare this time to this time last year, if we look to diesel prices, 80% higher. And we all collectively pay that whenever we get groceries. They've normally been transported, especially fruits and vegetables from someplace else. Anytime you order a package online, part of that or all of that package's trip basically has been fueled by diesel. So it is a very pressing issue, both economically and then therefore politically, Kira. Well, we'll see how these meetings go today. Yeah. We'll follow it. I know you will. Deidre, Thank thanks you. so much. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.